about to get it in. Yes, sir. I don't see. Nothing trouble in this bag. Thank you all for being here on a Sunday. We're doing a crazy bottle share. This is Richard, y'all know him, it's a beautiful spot. Brian and I'm Ale Sharpton. And we came together, we wanted to bring our community together and show how diverse our collections are. So we're making that happen today. So this is Ale Sharpton with Brewtube, kicking with my man, Alan Rains. We're making history today. And Hoptoberfest is one of the sickest brew fests, not only in Georgia, but the nation. And he, what'd you bring, man? Uh, a little Silent Night, a little uh, Big Sound from uh, Cigar City, and Central Waters, uh, Peruvian Morning, they say the uh, founder's killer, or the uh, I guess the breakfast stout killer. I don't know if it's quite killing it, but that. it's a damn fine Wait, beer. wait. You're about to sip this, man. Get a little swirl, nice you know chocolate. what I'm saying? Nice Get that nose. Breakfast for champions. First of all, what did you bring? Uh, I brought a organic strawberry, a clementine, and a chocolate stout. Beautiful choices. And she was like, should I bring wine? She called me up, she's like, should I bring wine? I'm like, girl, you better bring some beer up in this joint. And she did, she actually did really well with Samuel Smith and a few other beers you had. Clementine, uh, definitely something really great. So I'm glad you had a good time. Thanks for inviting us, it's a great event. All this great ass food we got popping here. Please describe what it is. It's a key lime pie Twinkie with key lime mousse and a vanilla Twinkie with graham cracker creme anglaise. Oh, we got right here is a curry chicken wings tossed in sweet chili sauce. I figure it's sweet, savory. Why not bring it up to life with a couple of beers that we have with everybody else? Of course, this is uh, the Roush beer from Red Hair, and that's a. Uh, habanero and jalapeno chili with a sweet yellow cornbread that Terry made and Cajun pork rinds. And hey, we rolling up on foes, man, on some TMZ shit. Hey, 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 brew tube in the house, Ale Sharpton, yo Lamont, my brother. What's up, Monty? How are you? Lamont's the most responsible one in the family, but today he's taking off. And what did you bring, bro? Uh, I brought a Grain Storm by Boulevard Black Rye IPA India Pale Ale. Show that up. My man Jeremy and Lee gonna be very proud of that. Shout out to Boulevard, Kansas City. What made you choose that? Um, I've had their uh, ales before, and I haven't had this uh, black rye, so I said, let's do this. I can't go wrong with Boulevard. So. Boom. My brother Lamont. What you got right now, man? What are you pouring? It's a chocolate imperial stout aged with bourbon, oak, cinnamon, coffee beans, vanilla beans, and habanero and serrano peppers. That's it? Half percent. That's pretty awesome. <laughs> Yo, you got some vittles here, brother. What we got popping today? All right, we got some wings, a varying... Uh, the curry wings. We had the whole breakdown. They're curries. Okay. Got some pork rinds because the South. Got a Twinkie filled with key lime. Huh. I mean, that's going to be like a little that's, that's good. slice of Florida right there. That's going to be magic. And you got your chili. A little bit of cornbread on top. I'm pretty excited. Oh, man. It's size. He's ready to eat, so let me not keep him. If there was, first of all, if there was a shirt contest today, my man would win right here. What we got going on? What made you choose a shirt today? Well, you know, I love Hawaiian shirts, uh, you know. Uh, and and uh. I saw this one at the Goodwill and had to have it. Yo, Goodwill, you always good. That's what's up. Uh, like five ninety nine. Oh, uh, less probably. Oh, damn, you went on that red tag day. Okay, yeah, hello. Half price, half price. Yo, yo, so Buster, what uh, we got here, man? This, this is from... Um, Hofstetten Brewery in uh, Austria, and this came straight from the brewery. It's straight a great from the brewery. Yeah, this uh, I, I was with Owen on a tour, and and this was given to us by the brewery. Uh, it's a granite beer. They heat the cobbles of granite and drop into the beer to bring it up to a boil. 
and uh, so it caramelizes around the granite cobbles and then dissolves back into the beer. It gives it a rich, wonderful flavor. You honestly brought some gangster. You brought the ice beer too, the original ice beer. Yeah, it, it's this beer that's been double frozen and the ice skimmed off to concentrate the alcohol to about 11 and a half percent. So Bud Ice was not the first ice beer, just no, so you all know. Not at all. I mean, uh, you know, granted the best, no. but oh, we're <laughs> no, not at all, no, no. You enjoying yourself with the oh, yeah. first bottle share that we're doing? Always, brother, always. Good, <laughs> good. But you hold, hopefully you don't have a gun behind your back because you look like you got something behind there. What you got, man? No, no, no. This is a... Uh, bong, bong. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so I was, I was actually in Tahoe for uh, the holidays and uh, uh, stepped onto this little uh, little ditty here, 5050 Brewing in Truckee, right outside of T Tahoe, California. Uh, GABF winners, this is their Imperial Stout, aged in all sorts of different uh, bourbon barrels. This guy is actually a uh, high west bourbon barrel aged beer. Ooh. It's legit. Um, it's, it's serious. It's serious. And the thing about this, this is, like he said, one of the sickest stouts you can get. And a lot of popular stouts are here, but this is one of the standouts. And can I taste a little bit of that corner, brother? And it has 2013 on me. Friend swirl. Oh, you get a little of that right now on that little casket situation. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely delicious. Yeah, and how you join the bottle share? Oh, it's awesome, man. Uh, we appreciate it. We appreciate you coming down. This is one of my homies for today, actually. And he said he cheated. I want to know why he said that. Well, I sat down and ate those wings that Richard cooked for us, and I needed some water. So I figured the next best thing, I'd go to the truck, <laughs> get the Founders All Day IPA. You know, four and a half percent, 12 ounces at a time, it goes down good. You know what the beautiful thing is? He's covered a lot of things in this one uh, introduction. First of all, canning is being very popular, particularly yeah. with uh, craft breweries right now. Um, easy accessibility, people can bring them to the beach, get rid of them quicker, the whole nine, and also sneak them in the baseball games, or whatever you do. Right. But also it's an IPA and it's sessionable, meaning that you could drink, they're under 5% usually, and you can have a lot of them while having a good talking session like we're doing now. But he said he's cheating. He's just saying there's so many high, potent uh, brews right. out here today. But you got to have that little sip, man, to crisp it out, right? That's right. That's right. Everybody brought everything high gravity, but when you sit down with some good spicy food, you want something easy to drink that you can just really take down. And this, you know, a sessionable IPA, you can't beat it. And founders, I mean, come on, dude. Exactly. Representing. <laughs> what made you rock those for the beer ship? Uh, some good friends of ours. Um, at our world champions soccer player, Nene Kubias, he played for Peru. Absolutely. And me and him are the same shoe size, and we were putting on a soccer clinic every year, and so he started like giving me his shoes. So these are actually like those are his. Nene Kubias' soccer shoes. Yo, that is crazy. Number one and number two, you're multi-dimensional, dude. You brew beer, you kick some ass in soccer. What else you do, man? Oh, graphic design, the sick ass posters. Hello. My man Brad, talk about what was gangster today for this uh, bottle share we did at Catch 20 Twizzle. Hey man, I had to bring the in-laws in to bring down some 20th anniversary from New Glarus up in Wisconsin. That Bo and Luke you brought though, that was real. That was the reals too. I try to represent, but we can't be, we can't lose with New Glarus, man. So no, no, definitely, no. thank you for coming out. Yeah, Yo, man. he came all the way from Atlanta. This is my homie. Represent and shout out Brew Tube. You know how we do. Brew Tube, we do it. Holla. <laughs> It's been nuts today. We've got the pioneers of this situation right here. Holla. Please. Richard Miley. <laughs> All right, yeah, Willie the Kid, man. Holla. Holla. Joe Scudder. Mitch Bain. Mitch and we're about to get our sip on Ale Sharpton. And uh, we got the vertical. Who brought this? Yeah, I brought this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know. oh, nah. What's oh, up with I'll this, man? Foot. I think this is uh, 2011. All right. 
Gangster. And the aging makes the beer that much more crazier, but we had so many crazy beers in here. As you can see from the footage, we're getting it in. We're at Catch 22. This is the sickest bottle share I've ever been a part of. Shout out to Catch 22, Richard Miley, my man B. Diddy with Southern Brewing. But well, real talk, look at these bottles. This is craft beer, this is how we get down. And everybody bought what they thought was the sickest shit they had in their collection. And we got a chance to sip it today. This is history. So shout out to everybody, and we didn't do a toast. So let's do that real quick. Salute to craft beer, especially motherfucking Georgia. Hey!